Hey, are you still awake? Yeah, I can see uh, your eyes. They shine a little bit in the darkness. <laughs> Sorry, uh, that was kind of cheesy. <laughs> are you okay? What's wrong? Um, I mean... These nights, uh, you've been staying with me, you were kind of uncomfortable, maybe, or uh, I don't know. You've been staying awake really, really late, and I'm kind of worried about you. <laughs> I know, I know, it's really funny how things have turned into lately, uh, but... <laughs> Since I was the Yandere dragon, a evil and mysterious dragon that keep you away from your family in this cave. Uh, but well, we just find out that we're really similar in so many things. Hey, you can tell me if you want. Um, don't worry. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh. Um. <laughs> well, if if you're starting to feel bad or uncomfortable, um, and maybe you don't want to stay here with me anymore, uh, you can tell me. I mean, I I won't feel bad. I, I think so. <laughs> no, I, I'm serious. Um, I wouldn't mind, I will understand, trust me. No, it's not that. Oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, that's good, that's good. I mean, I mean, <clears throat> please tell me what's going on. Oh, you seem kind of cold. Maybe you can get closer. If you want, of course. <laughs> okay. Now, tell me. Okay. Um. Yeah, I remember. You've been dreaming about that lately. Mm. I see. Yes, I remember that... You told me one of the reasons you wanted to stay here with me was that you never feel comfortable or you never feel you never felt uh, like that you belong in your family or in your house. Um, that you always feel so lonely, distant with people, and you wanted to be away from them. Yeah, I remember. Um, that was the reason that you're here. But... You've been dreaming about that? About your family? But then what happened? What happened with your family? You can tell me if you want. They never understand you. You wanted to be... <laughs> an artist. And they didn't let you. They were against all the things you liked. Okay, um, like the great Michelangelo. <laughs> yeah, I met him. He was really, he was really cool. Kind of a, a grumpy guy, but trust me, deep inside of him, he was really, really, a really good person. And an amazing artist. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so... Why do you think you didn't belong with your family? Because you're so different? Okay. Well... Um, maybe... Uh, listen, I can't... Of course, I can't understand 100% exactly what you're feeling, where you lived, of 
course, but maybe I can relate to that. I mean, I come from a, a Lang dynasty, a Lang family of dragons, and I'm apparently the first dragon that doesn't want to end humans. Doesn't want to devour them and end them, defeat them all at once. So maybe you can tell <laughs> all the things I've been discussing and arguing with my family. Oh well, they just let me live alone, away from them. I just told them that, like, hey, don't bother me and don't bother everybody around me, this whole kingdom. So in some way, I'm the protector, you know? Uh, a silent protector, because nobody knows it. That's the reason why I'm the only dragon in this land. <laughs> but anyways, what I wanted to tell you is that sometimes we think that way, that we don't belong to a family, that nobody understands our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, our passions, you know? And maybe in so many ways, it could be true. Sometimes there is just one family member that it's so different. But that doesn't mean they don't love you. That they don't want to... <laughs> that they don't want the best for you. Because I know they do. <laughs> when you came here to steal those emeralds to help them, I just realized that deep inside of you, you had a true love to your family. And I could notice it when I took you to your village. Your whole family was so glad that you were still alive. They love you, dear. They truly love you. Maybe they're so different as you. Maybe they're really different than you. And maybe staying away from them. Not everyone. And not all the time, but... If you want to be independent and be yourself in another place it's up to you that's your decision but at least once in a while go visit them I'll take you <laughs> yes, flying don't let those fears steal your peace Okay, your mental health. Okay. Uh, well, yes, I just become a dragon therapist, right? <laughs> I'm just telling you what I think. It's up to you. You can do it or not, but that's how we see everything. <laughs> yes, of course. I love my family so, so much, but. <laughs> we're so different and that's good that's not necessarily bad you don't have to fight with them for that sometimes you're so different and that's it <laughs> are you comfy? shall we go back to sleep? <laughs> okay No, um, <laughs> nothing. But I just realized that your eyes actually shine in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really cute. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, human, please. Do I have to lie? I'm a dragon. Dragons don't lie. You know, in some way, 
I have to take care of you. I have to protect you. In some way, I don't have a treasure anymore. I just find a new kind of treasure. <laughs> you can take that as a compliment or not. But that's the truth. <laughs> Good night, human. Sleep well, okay? <laughs>